the course that you are going to enroll in is primarily the first step towards simplifying how a manufacturing organization can be run. It is a common belief that an organization is a complex entity and to control the outcome of such an organization requires a collaborative and a very cohesive approach of many departments. These departments are nothing but management practices which are currently available to us. The core belief in this course is simplicity. This comes from an understanding that however complex an environment may look at the first sight, there is an inherent simplicity which is governing the throughput of that organization. Throughput is something which the company produces and sells. And the purpose of this company is to make money. There are hundreds of management techniques available in the market. Many of them have evolved over a period of time. Barring a few, most of these techniques are how to do tools. They do not tell a company what to do. And if a company doesn't focus on what to do, it can keep using these tools, but the result may not be as desired. Let me quote Peter Drucker here. And he says, the root cause of nearly every one of these crises is not that things are being done poorly. It is not even that the wrong things are being done. Indeed, in most cases, the right things are being done, but fruitlessly. That means that the simple application of a tool in an organization will not yield the desired result. I call this course a simple approach to manufacturing competitiveness because if an organization is to become competitive, it should actually constantly keep making money today as well as tomorrow. And we can't even take it for granted that the practice that we are using today and if we keep doing it again and again will keep yielding us the desired results in the future. Hence, we should have a mechanism of understanding where and how to focus. A complex web of measurements that have evolved in managing operations, managing companies, hardly leaves us with any ability to realize which particular effort has yielded the results. And this has complicated the running of the company. In this course, when I say I am simplifying, I do not mean by saying that we are taking a concept and not understanding it in depth and just making a mild use of the concept. When I say simplifying, I am trying to put across a method and an understanding which will help a company choose which of the processes or the parts of its business that the company should focus on so that it meaningfully moves towards achieving its goal. The purpose of any organization is to make money and anything which is stopping it from making more of its purpose is the hindrance. That means that is the focus point. If one focuses on it, 
the chances of you or the organization making more of its goal or more of more of money becomes higher this simplification is that simplification that i'm talking about how to focus on very few aspects of business and still get meaningful results in this course there are four parts the first part is to help you understand measurements and the driving principles for this is if you tell me how you measure me i'll tell you how i will act so measurements lead to behavior now measuring too many things has become the burden of an organization today so the attempt is made how to measure very few things and still have a full control on the organization the next part is called simplifying manufacturing in this again an attempt is made that how does a capital material and labor interact to produce the desired output and this output is what a company sells to make money the third part is manufacturing practices in this an attempt is being made to focus on the core concepts of manufacturing or the core concept of flow which in its form can also explain the toyota production system as well as how henry ford made a success out of his manufacturing operations now if this concepts are understood without all the paraphernalia of tools hanging around them the our ability to implement them in a newer environment or in a company grows because then we don't have to focus everywhere but on the four concepts of flow which will help my manufacturing organization perform better now you might manage your organization well and you have a good product to sell but how do you integrate yourself into a supply chain that means somewhere down the line you also need to understand the core driving principles or a simplified version of how a supply chain works or is designed how does a customer buy from you why will he buy from you and only when the simplified version of the buying buying criteria or the activities required in a supply chain that complete the supply chain are understood we can then think of integrating into supply chain or can even then think of improving the performance of a supply chain having said all this in a very simplified and a easy manner one also needs to understand how and what one needs to do to make an offer or what one needs to offer to the supply chain so that you remain as a preferred supplier in the chain or even if you're not in the supply chain a preferred supplier to your customer the attempt in this course is to make sure that a company keeps focusing on what needs to change and in a small bit what it needs to change to what it needs to change to is a very important aspect but only second to what needs to change and what needs to change is nothing but that inherent simplicity which if you focus on single mindedly is going to give you a quantum leap in your performance in other words it is also the constraint 
which is limiting you from making more money today as well as tomorrow. In all this, there are explanation of some tools, very popular tools available to the manufacturing world. But a lot of times, I have tried to bring out the misconceptions that have evolved over these tools in a manufacturing environment. One of the core driving principles of this course is the fight against the cost world. If I look at the current way of functioning of lot of organizations, primarily every improvement is measured in terms of cost savings. In this course, an attempt has been made to bring the focus of manufacturing organizations to the concept of flow or rather the throughput world, where a company is asked to identify everything that is limiting it from making more of the throughput and hence the throughput world. When you start learning this course, you will be faced or you will be introduced with certain concepts which just may be 180 degree to what you have learned in the cost world. However, the only way of understanding whether these concepts are yielding better result is to constantly keep checking the impact of these tools and calculations and decisions on the bottom line of the company. Any tool or improvement put into practice if it does not translate into actual tangible bottom line improvements the tool somehow did not yield the desired result. A notional calculation of cost saving is not an actual cost saving. The simple approach in this course is to check everything against its impact on the bottom line of the manufacturing company. This way small, medium, large, all organizations can keep focusing their effort and their money to the one place which is limiting them from making more money rather than spreading themselves too thin and then coming back and saying our efforts did not yield the desired result. In this course, you should be able to find many points, concepts which are universal in their application. They are not bound by industries. Many places, special cases or conditions in which these concepts do not apply have also been mentioned. But more or less, all these concepts are designed for a manufacturing organization. Wish you all the best and may you make the most of this course.